Welcome back people, we've got some more Fish and Planet for you guys here again today. So I'm making a video on showing you how to max drag all three new best rods. So there's the, the new best bottom rod as you see here in my hand right now. Also a new best <coughs> match rod which is a float rod and also a new best spinning rod. I've showed how to max drag all of them. I've also shown hot spots in this river. Uh, which is Congo River Africa that's where I'm fishing here today for some Nile perch talking to you about match drag on this rod anytime I do live streams I'll always use a face cam and mic but when I make videos I randomly hit record don't bother setting up the face cam I'll always use a mic but um, that's how we get those awesome good video clips I've shown hot spots done all the all the new missions and shown how and where to catch certain fish brought all the new tackle Filled the new net up. All of these videos you will find in a playlist of Just Fishing Planet, which is, um, I think, nearly 360 ish plus videos, 360 videos of Just Fishing Planet. <laughs> Crazy amount. Completed all fish monster missions as well, and of course, shown hot spots in other different lakes. Of, yeah, when there is updates, I'll always let you guys know about it as well. I'll let you know before the, the update comes, and of course, as I said, as soon as it releases, I will be live streaming. Face cam and mic, always buying the new DLC, getting into the new lakes. Couldn't give you guys a better reason to subscribe other than that. Don't forget to smack that like button, and of course, if you've got any comments at all about this video, do leave it in the comment section below. I do try my best to respond to everyone. Don't take it personally if I don't respond to you. It's just that I have over a thousand videos on YouTube, so it is kind of hard for me to try and manage every single comment and try and reply to everyone, but I do try my best. Anyway, the uh, I'm going to attempt to say this. Mokazoni, Mokazom, Mokazai, <laughs> whatever. This is, the new <laughs> this is the new best bottom rod. It's 1110. Um, so the, the durability on it's quite a lot as well, which is good, so it does last quite well. It's The power is extra heavy. Line weight is 42 pounds to 86 pounds, this actual rod itself. Um, so for that, I've gone for 88 pounds because obviously I like to max drag. So I've explained it plenty of times before, but there's still people that ask. As you see there, this is the best max drag setup I have ever had which is where max drag is basically as you see there on the right hand side those three bars I can get them up into the red to the very maximum without it breaking or snapping or damaging now how do you do that it's um, some people say it's hacking but it's not it's called balancing it's something that I've made up myself um, yeah I just call it balancing the reason is, there's always a reason. So why would you want to max balance? This is, uh, well, this. why would you want to balance it? Why would you want to max drag? So the biggest question is, for me, quite a few reasons. One, to put more pressure on that fish, so that way you're able to stop that fish from coming unhooked because the bars go down too much. There's not enough um, tension there. I also want to do it because it helps me reel the fish in a little bit quicker. And, of course, if you're catching big fish at like 400 pound plus you need to keep as much tension as you can the more tension you've got on there the quicker you're going to wear that fish down and the easier you'll be able to reel it in now if you're catching a fish at 400 pound and above it still takes a long time to reel in so max drag just kind of slows that process speeds that process up sorry not slows it down it speeds that process up so it makes it that little bit quicker for you to try and reel them them big fish in so that is why I always do it, but also time is money on this game, time is money, never ever forget that. Now, I don't really need cash at this point, I've got um, nearly 21 million cash, so I'm okay. But because all these new updates come out, when they come out I always buy all the new gear, I always buy all new rods, talk about them, use them, show them, let you guys know if they're any good. Um, so yeah, I'm always buying new baits, new hooks, new lures and all stuff, so... 21 million does sound like a lot of cash, but if you're someone who's doing the same as me, where you're putting out these videos of all the best gear, you know, like religion, it's, it's constant I'm putting out these videos. Um, it does take a lot of money. It does, yeah, it's not a cheap thing to do. It, it definitely costs a lot. I bought four of these bottom rods, so 414 pound unique Nile perch there. So as you can see, this rod is definitely capable of catching those 400 odd pound fish. 
yeah, it's definitely capable of catching those fish for sure. Um, personally, myself is what I reckon is if you if you learn how to use max drag and then it can become very rewarding now of course i'm gonna show you a little small clip of me um of how i've actually got this set up what what rod what line what weight um and of course what reel so the the weight as well was um an 845 ounce again you probably don't need that heavy but i'm just using it just to try and make it stick to the floor a little bit better. I always have a problem trying to say this one, but Lao Impulsion 13, 13,000 real. <laughs> I'm probably saying that wrong as well. But at first, I, again, I um, I made another mistake on this one by building this setup. I put on a different reel and I ended up putting too much damage onto the reel. So then I ended up buying a different reel. And then this was the one that I got. Now, I don't get it right every time. But the, the main thing is to realise uh, the more you play it, you, you kind of get used to it. But the max drag has to kind of be similar to the actual rod itself in pound weight. I always do it that little bit lower. So um, that's normally what I do. Or I try and go for the exact amount. So this real max drag is 86 pounds. And the line weight of the actual rod itself is 86 pounds. So I made that match. Now, if it didn't work, I would have probably got a, a reel a little bit weaker. So it would have worked. You can do this max drag with any type of rod. Even with the Creek Pro, which is one of the very first beginning rods that you get at level 1. I've even max dragged that. It doesn't matter what rod it is. You are all, always able to max drag. So as I said, for the new spinning rod... I've done a video on how to max drag with that. I've done um, on the float how to max drag. And now this bottom rod how to max drag. And this is definitely the best max drag setup that I've got. Because I always normally have it a little bit under. But on all three bars as you can see there. I'm pushing it to the limit. And as I said I call it balancing. So the leader itself is an 86 pound leader 0 0.029 and then the braid is 88 pounds so it all matches up perfect with the rod because the line is a little bit heavier and again as you see there's another unique Nile perch these do take a little bit of time to reel in of course they do take a bit of time but the whole idea of this video is to explain max drag it's safe to do it you can do it do I recommend to do it? Definitely. I've been playing this game for nearly six years and I've always wanted to do the max drag thing ever since I've played the game because it just makes sense to put much pressure on the fish as you can to reel it in quicker. Now, in real life, of course, I'm not going to be doing that in real life. It's a sport in real life. It's very, very different. This is a game. I'm playing it as a gamer. Some people don't like the way I, I fish. Some people don't like the way I do things. But then I can't make everyone happy, you know. This is just my, I'm just showing you my way. It's just my way of how I like to play this game. And it definitely does make it easier putting that pressure on as much as possible. If you're going to copy this setup, or if you have this setup, or if you're going to get something, oh, well, I don't know. Let me know what setup you're using. I'm interested to find out. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. Don't forget to subscribe. I am out.